Happy Tuesday, Max of Cryptozilla again. Today I'll do another summary of this Messaris report called State of Polkadot in the third quarter. The report presents several key performance metrics and insights providing fairly good knowledge about the state of Polkadot in third quarter. These reports usually compare just finished quarter with previous quarters in terms of network valuation, degree of decentralization, staking, network user activity, development activity and overall development. The latest report was published on Messari website, I'll leave the link in the description. Let me start off with these key insights. In the third quarter, eight new parachains were deployed to Polkadot. 132 million DOT in total was locked through all 30 auctions so far. That means almost 11% of the total DOT supply has been bonded in parachain auctions up to now. XEM adoption continued to increase. Parity Technology also announced the next version, XEM3, which is slated to be launched by end of year. Also, Polkadot's governance V2 is slowly but surely coming. Governance V2 will increase the number of simultaneously ongoing proposals eligible to be voted on and will further decentralize the network by removing technical committee and the council. If you are more interested in new Polkarot's governance, I strongly recommend reading this Governance V2 blog post written by Gavin Wood or watching his talk about new Polkarot's governance from Polkarot Decoded this summer. And most importantly, the fundamental metrics like validator and nominator count and the percentage of total dot supply state remain consistent in comparison to the second quarter. In this financial overview, we can see the circulating dot supply slightly increased in each quarter. In the third quarter, an increase by 2.4% compared to the second quarter. This steady increase is caused by dot inflationary supply with 10% annual inflation rate. On the contrary, the circulating market cap decreased with each new quarter, with the drop of 5.8% in third quarter compared to the second quarter. Now Polkadot's treasury, the treasury is funded by block rewards, slashing of validators, transaction fees and staking inefficiency. At the close of third quarter, Polkadot's treasury had 36.7 million DOT, worth roughly 236 million. The expenditures of Polkadot's treasury peaked in June and July. Still, treasury expenditures are still minimal, with only 2.4% of the treasury spent over the last year. It is believed that the reason the treasury was so underused was due to the restrictive governance model, which could only support one public proposal every 28 days. So it is expected that with the arrival of Governance 2, the treasury funds will become much more accessible for the community to fund projects supporting Polkadot ecosystem. Now XCM, as you likely know, XCM is a communication language that allows parachains to exchange messages. An XCM message can be sent from parachains to another parachain via HRMP channels, also between the relay chain and parachains, as well as outside of Polkadot ecosystem to other applications. The author of this report argues that the expansion of XEM technology will be critical for the advancement of the Polkadot ecosystem to continue, and as a communication language, XEM format is similar to inter-blockchain communication on Cosmos. With regards to decentralization and staking, third quarter was consistent in this aspect, Fundamental metrics such as the validator count, the percentage of total DOT supply staked and also the minimum amount of DOT required to run an active validator were stable. This, according to the author, points to a well-functioning and healthy ecosystem. Nominators are incentivized to stake with lower staked validators to maximize their staking rewards. In the third quarter, 292 of the total 297 validators had between 1.8 to 3.4 million DOT staked, indicating DOT stake is evenly distributed across all Polkadot's validators. Naturally, this relatively even stake distribution across all validators strengthens Polkadot's decentralization. Polkadot will eventually expand the validator set up to 1000 validators to support probably even more than 100 parachains at some point. The Polkadot's ideal staking rate is 50% of staked DOT. However, over this year, the percentage of the total DOT staked has been greater than 50%. The percentage of the total DOT supply staked ranged from 54% to 59%. This blue area indicates the circulating supply of DOT, the pink area is the total DOT staked. And of course, when total DOT staked is above the ideal staking rate, those 50%, 
nominators rewards are reduced and dot staking yield can drop under the expected rate. Also during quarter 3 Polkadot released two new major staking related products, first being nomination pools and the second new staking dashboard. I believe the nomination pools have been live on Kusama since June, once live also on Polkadot, the pools will enable anyone with at least one dot to participate in dot on chain staking. The staking dashboard provides a much more user-friendly user experience. What is particularly interesting is that maybe it was these new staking products which induced a noticeable 3.1% increase in staked dot quarter over quarter, which has been the largest increase in staked dot this year. Of course, we cannot know for sure to what degree the increase in staked DOT was caused by new staking dashboard, but more user-friendly UI and overall better staking experience is surely very much welcomed by a broader Polkadot community. Now briefly about parachain auctions. DOT bonded through the auctions is locked on the relay chain, so it's removed from the circulating supply for two years. Here is how the total amount of DOT bonded in auctions developed during respective quarters. The highest DOT bonded over 106 million DOT was in quarter 4 last year, dropping only to 929,000 DOT bonded in quarter 3 this year, a dramatic yet quite understandable decline. Given the lowering price of a parachain slot, many parachain teams can now afford to self-fund their two years slot lease and this trend is expected to continue also over the remaining 13 auctions that are scheduled until February next year. Here is also an interesting comparison of key performance indicators between Polkarot and Kusama. At the end of a previous quarter, Polkadot's market cap was 17 times higher than Kusama's, precisely 7.4 billion versus 430 million. Surprisingly, network activity of both networks was much closer. By much closer, I mean the difference of active accounts, transfers and XCM messages is not nearly as big as is the difference in valuations of both networks. In third quarter, Polkadot had six times more active accounts, 139,000 versus 25,000 active accounts on Kusama. Also three times more transfers, 600,000 transfers versus 209,000 transfers made on Kusama. And there was even more XCM messages sent on Kusama than on Polkadot, precisely 65,000 versus 58,000 in favor of Kusama. The fact that the network activity on both networks is quite close has a simple and logical explanation. Currently Kusama has more parachains deployed, 53 versus 28, and also XCM was launched on Kusama months earlier. And if you think that the total percentage of DOT tokens staked is quite high, 56%, Kusama actually has even a greater percentage of total supply staked, around 68%. In this qualitative analysis part, you can get a brief overview for all the upgrades and developments scheduled for the rest of the year, such as Governance v2, XCM v3, two new common good parachains, asynchronous backing and scalability, and also parathreads. Since I have already covered all these developments in my previous video, check it in the top right, I'm skipping them now. And lastly, this closing summary, selected key performance indicators such as active accounts, new accounts created, Polkadot's treasury revenue and DOT transfers, all experienced double-digit percentage declines compared to quarter two. In another words, activity on the network in the third quarter further dropped compared to quarter two. On the other hand, also some good news, fundamental metrics like total validators, total nominators and the percentage of total DOT supply staked were either flat or even slightly increased, which suggests a functioning and healthy ecosystem at the foundational layer. The assortment of products and upgrades scheduled to be released by the end of year will further decentralize the network, will improve its capabilities and functionality and overall should make Polkadot more accessible and user-friendly for general crypto users. If that will really be the case, we need to wait. Personally, I am still as bullish on Polkadot as I can only be. The development on multiple fronts is continual. It also seems to me that lately a much more emphasis has been put on user experience. In addition, the development activity is second largest to Ethereum and Kevin Wood stepping down as parity CEO will probably mean he will shift his focus more to building, developing and promoting the mass adoption of Polkadot's Web3 technology. That's been it, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.